getting some breaking weather news right now. NOAA just releasing their outlook for the upcoming Atlantic Hurricane Center. There's a news conference that we've been waiting on um, that started in Gretna. It's just south of New Orleans, Louisiana. And forecasters, no surprise here, Marissa, mm -hmm. calling for an above average season. There's a look at the numbers hot off the press. NOAA calling for 13 to 19 storms named storms uh, of those we'd have six to ten hurricanes and then that range of three to five for major hurricanes. Um, this is an above average forecast when you look at the numbers and overall on par with I think what we would expect and not too far off from what we had from Colorado State University. And NOAA also supplements this outlook with a, a confidence gauge and a probability. They're, they're saying that there's a 60% chance that we will be above average. There's also a 30% chance it will be near average and then just a 10% chance that we would be below average simply from a numbers perspective. This again, just as a reminder, kind of a disclaimer that we've, we've said too, these do not speak to land falling systems. It's just the sheer number of storms that are forecast to form in the Atlantic Basin. But yeah, as you had said, another above average season. So take it for what it is. We want to bring in Fox Weather Hurricane Specialist Brian Norcross. Brian, I'm sure you're also looking at the numbers. And Noah, of course, talking about the reason behind the forecasted numbers that they have for the season, citing a couple of things. One would be the Enzo neutral conditions, a continuation of that. And then also looking at some of the sea surface temperatures, which in some cases are a little above average. Yeah, so it's a little surprising, honestly, the, the list they put there, talking about the Pacific and the El Nino, La Nina being in the neutral range. You know, that we, we know and that we expect. But they're talking about warmer than normal uh, ocean temperatures in the Atlantic. Well, about half the Atlantic is not really much above normal. Now, the Caribbean is and the Gulf of Mexico, part of the Gulf of Mexico is. Uh, so mostly the Caribbean might be the contributor to this when you say the Atlantic. Generally, they mean the Atlantic Basin, which is the whole thing. They also uh, talk about the uh, weaker than normal trade winds, which are related to the strength of the high pressure system over the Atlantic. So uh, that's related to a kind of a model forecast. And also how much activity there is called the African monsoon, how much thunderstorm activity develops over the African continent. Those are the seeds that become tropical systems. So we end up with these numbers. Now, if, if you know what the average numbers are, and we'll go through this here in just a second, average number of named storms is almost 15. It's between 14 and 15, 14. 14.7, actually, if you add up the numbers over the 30-year period going back to 1991. And they come in at 13 to 19. So <clears throat> if you think about that, um, uh, you know, a 13 and a 14 would be below normal. 15 or so would be about normal. And uh, then we get some that are just above normal. So uh, the headline is an above normal season. Odds are it will be more than that official uh, 14 or 14.4 actually is the um, average when you add up all the numbers. Hurricane 6 to 10, 3 to 5, as you said, these line up with the CSU forecast uh, that we had. Uh, the CSU also gives us a range, but their top line numbers are just single numbers there. So there you see them. Interesting that the uh, the NOAA folks uh, come up with kind of a uh, lower number of hurricanes than the CSU folks if you take the midpoint there just a little bit. But anyway, we're talking about uh, one uh, number here or there. Now, compare this to average. And this is the point I really want to make is, uh, as I said, that this is a 14. It's actually a 14.4, the slightest amount uh, more would put it to 15. And remember, this goes back to 1991 averaging. And in the 90s, we just didn't have the technology that we have after 2000. So uh, the odds are a, a storm, maybe two storms, didn't get counted that would get counted with the high-resolution satellites that we have now. So probably a better modern average is 15 or 16. So uh, these numbers here are in that slightly above average range because we do have factors that are not really uh, conducive out there this year. And when we look at last year, of course, uh, we had 
18 after that big forecast. If you remember, the forecasts were up in the 20s uh, last year, but we had that huge gap in the middle of the year. So it was a super active year when the storms were happening. But there was that uh, big gap that kept the total number down. But, of course, the hurricane number was all the way up at 11 last year because the ocean uh, and atmospheric system was very conducive when those storms could form. All right, let's take a look at what's going on out there right now. Here is the eastern Atlantic, and this is the water temperature difference from normal. And what stands out, of course, is you see this dark this uh, blue up in here where it's cooler than normal. But down here, this is really where the stronger storms track a little bit farther south. So the net net out there is something kind of close to normal. So we're going to say that maybe the, the, with the uh, dark uh, colors, the, the cooler water out there, that this is going to be a slight minus on the numbers, holding the numbers down, at least not pushing the numbers up in any kind of big way. Here in the Western Atlantic, though, you see everything is orange and red here. Everything is uh, above normal, so we'll put that in the plus column. So we get the net in the Atlantic in a slight plus. Then we go over to the Pacific, El Nino or La Nina. Well, it's kind of neither. If you notice in this box where we look south of Hawaii, that's that's the the place that science has determined that uh, if we look at that, we get an idea of the Pacific's influence on the weather all around the world. And one way is El Nino that squashes hurricanes. La Nina uh, encourages hurricanes. This year, things are looking more neutral, which means there won't be a big influence, means there's nothing to squash the storms. So the net net of that is maybe a slight positive. And then when you add one more thing that we usually don't talk about, about it says very warm water up here so the contrast between even neutral down here and very warm here pushes it a little bit toward the La Nina or favorable for more storms to develop so we'll call this a slight plus in the Pacific so we have this kind of uh, essentially uh, offset in the Atlantic a slight plus from the Pacific that's why you see these numbers all just a little bit higher in the Pacific right now we have maybe our first system 50% chance of something developing in that area right there according to the National Hurricane Center when we look at where that is you see it's not this blob down here it's this up in here, and uh, some of the models really spin this up, but everything keeps it offshore of uh, Mexico right now, but it could get the name Alvin if it comes together as some of the computer forecasts uh, indicate. So, uh, guys, nothing going on in the Atlantic at all. As a matter of fact, I think this is going to be a year with no preseason activity. Hmm. I think we're going to be uh, into June before we get things started this year based on everything we know right now. Well. 